when did you know that you wanted to, to do this? When I found out it was acceptable, you know, I didn't think it would be, I wasn't good enough to, to d get into art, seriously. Mm -hmm. But then when I found out at the flea markets and things that I could sell it, you know, and that gave me a little more uh, faith in myself, you know, mm -hmm. to try just painting on canvas. And I enjoy it, you know, it's, uh, it's something I enjoy doing, creating something, you know, and writing down something I've seen in a way that other people can see it like I see it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of give you a little joy, you know. So did Cabinets you ever take and, any courses on art? No. Never. I How won't even you? watch them on TV because I'm afraid I'll pick up something they're doing and I, I enjoy doing it like I do it, you know. So did you ever buy any books to learn techniques? Yeah, I bought some, uh, some of those little instruction books at Walmart. It was helpful. In some way, like, uh, well, like you're painting a house and a person and a dog and a chicken. They all got to be the same size. I mean, that fits in there. So now, I don't have a problem with the background and the house. But then when you start adding, the individual little things to it, then sometimes you'll get to, you know, if you don't watch what you're doing, you they don't fit right. Mm -hmm. So what I do is on my animals and people, I paint the whole thing black, just a silhouette. And then I put it up on over there and back up like six or eight feet and look at it. And if he looks too big, then I'll wipe some of them off, you know, and if he's not big enough, I'll put some more on. And then when I get where it looks like it fits right, then I go ahead and, and paint the whole thing black and then paint after that dries then I can put the features and everything on it if it's right. <laughs> that seems to, to be what you you have such a good eye for scale and proportion and composition and um, to be self-taught it's it's just pretty extraordinary. Well you know when something don't look right. Mm -hmm. you know. so, that's the reason I paint everything like after I get my houses and whatever on there and start adding stuff, that's the reason I paint them black. Mm -hmm. you know, that way I can make them bigger or smaller before I paint them. Right. And uh, once you get them the proper size, back up and look at it from a different angle, you know, and then I can go ahead and paint them. And is there is something that ex inspires you uh, with your art? Yeah, yeah it does. It does, if you, if you see you're going somewhere with it, you know, I mean, if, if you're not going to get anywhere with it, just like anything else, you know, why am I doing it? You know, if you're not going. Because, uh, I mean, I already got the pictures in my head. After I get them painted, if I'm going to be the only one to see them, I'll paint them. Yeah. That's a certain amount of satisfaction, man. Mm -hmm. The first time someone bought your painting, what were you thinking? Well, I couldn't really believe it. You know, and the first thing I wondered was, you know, if this guy's, you know, if he's got enough fries to have a whole Happy Meal there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I, I thought most of the red been licked off his can, to tell you the truth, you know, because I, you know. <laughs> but then someone else bought, and then yeah, and I sort of bought. kept selling them like that, you know, and I started painting on hand saws to go to these flea markets. And, I see other people with saws they'd painted, you know, and mine was selling, and even I, I got charging like $75 for mine, and they were selling. I didn't believe this, you know? And they're charging like 12 14 for theirs, and they ain't selling. And that gives rise to why is this happening, you know? And so I said, well, maybe, you know, so we'll start on a canvas, you know? So it made me, give me a little more faith in myself, you know? A few techniques. Yeah, and the basic mixtures, you know. Of color? Uh, since I got a pretty good idea, you know, how to mix them and everything, I got to plan with it on my own. I totally eliminated some that I was buying, you know. Mm hmm. If I can make them out better. <laughs> well, you seem to have such a, a good eye for scale and composition that. Um, many trained artists have difficult time with. Are, do you do you know if you have any sort of artist in your ancestry or? I don't think so. Only people, only 
ancestors that could draw anything was water and guns, I guess. They could draw water and guns, that's about it. <laughs> What was the, the first element on the canvas? This one, sky. And then the background trees back here. And then the foreground trees and then the house. And then just come out mm -hmm. as it comes. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, time worn. See, yeah, I make notes when something works good. Yes. So you may find a, a color combination that works well for foliage on your trees and then right. you make note of it. Uh -huh. Now, did you work in acrylics or oils? Oil. Oh, acrylics dry too fast and I made too many mistakes. So, am I wrong that oil, when you work with oils, you do have to walk away from a painting from time to time, don't you? Before you oh, yeah. add another layer? Yeah. Well, I use a fixative some, not much, but enough to keep it from getting what I call muddy. Mm-hmm. Have you ever worked in watercolors? No, never did. <laughs> 